Just plug it in and play it. Just plug it and play it. One base unit that plugs into your TV. Just plug it and play it. An entire arcade inside one joystick. Batteries not included. Batteries not included. Batteries and glass screen TV not included. TV games. Jack specific. <laughs> Wait, shoot the intro, shoot the intro, I'm sorry, wait, hold up. In the 70s and 80s, Nintendo took over the world by storm with its arcade games like Donkey Kong, Block Fever, and obviously Mario Bros. The most successful video game franchise on Earth. After a string of successes, Nintendo decided the next move was to bring their famous games to family's home system. So the family computer, Famicom for short, made its development and was released to the Japanese market on July 15, 1983. The Famicom hardware then debuted in North American arcades in 1984, while called the Nintendo VS system, which popularity led to the release of the NES system in 1986 in the USA and then worldwide the following year. The system was a major success. And like any other major success, there will always be a group of individuals that would try to replicate the product at a cheaper value. And that is in fact what the Chinese did. In the 90s, chip technology, manufacturing, and pricing was at an all-time low. So Chinese engineers set sight on recreating certain elements of the NES, but all on one single chip. To be played on family home systems for just a fraction of the price. So the early days of the plug and play had started. Soon enough, Hundreds and thousands of unlicensed and undocumented handheld TV game consoles were being sold and released at an alarming rate that to this day, a large vast of them cannot be accounted for or even tracked. From World Series Poker to the TV board, handheld TV game systems were being thrown on the shelves of convenience stores, electronic stores, or even superstores around the world. And as technology fell cheaper and car television sets became popular, yes, car TV sets, y'all remember those? Some of y'all still have them if you're rich rich, but as car TVs became popular, Popular. The plug and play went hand in hand. Basically, adults needed to buy their kids something to do during long road trips so they can shut the fuck up. Which led to the industry to start actually licensing classical games like Frogger. But it wasn't until the early 2000s when our friends Jack Pacific came along and released Atari TV that the plug and play system created its name and skyrocketed into a level of legitimacy. So many people had the Atari TV. I even had the Atari TV and I think I only played it like twice, girl. I wasn't into those games. But the success of Atari TV led Jack Pacific to replicate its system with licensed products from other programs from Disney, DC Comics, Nickelodeon, and more. Soon we went from TV Boy to Frogger to Atari to hey, 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 hey. Mac. Yep, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a video about plug and play. If you haven't caught on yet, I actually did not remember plug and play at all until one random day I was scrolling on the internet and a picture of the SpongeBob plug and play popped up and a plethora of memories came rushing into my goddamn head. I never played the SpongeBob plug and play. The only plug and plays I had were the Atari and the Wheel of Fortune. But when I would go search up the plug and play system, I did not know that there was a plethora, plethora of them, girl. Hundreds. But most of them you cannot find anywhere in the history of the world anymore. Out of this entire pile of plug and plays you see in front of you, only one of them was bought and brand new. The rest were resale from a very, very weird, sketchy website that now has my credit card information. Yes, I did lock the card. You're welcome. Play it. When I brought up this idea to people, everyone told me they had the SpongeBob one and the Dora one. And I tried my best to find the SpongeBob one and the Dora one to play on this video. But girl, when I tell you they were being resold outside of my price range that I was comfortable with, they were being resold out of my fucking price range that I was fucking comfortable with. Okay, bitch? Okay, we got standards. But I did buy the Dream Life. Dream Life, the power to live your dreams. Which is probably the most expensive one out of this entire pot. And I wasn't going to do that twice. Okay, girl? At this point when I'm recording this, I already tested and played every single one of these and I reviewed every single one in notes. So we're gonna go down the line, I'm gonna show you my experience, then we're gonna talk the hell out of it. We're gonna talk some shit, girl. We're gonna talk some shit. There was a reason why that technology was cheap, girl. It even looked like it, girl. It, it, the crystal clear. Welcome back to an episode of, hey, y'all remember this shit from your childhood? Well, it might have been a scam, so let's fucking find out. But anyways, let's start with Cheetah Girls, okay? What? Is that supposed to be Raven some- oh. Oh no. Surprised or not, this took place in 2007. My, how fast graphics have come. A long fucking way, girl. A long fucking way. We have the Cheetah Licious console right here. A beautiful sex toy, if I would say so myself. Okay, Cheetah Licious. Story mode? There's a story?
Girl, how much storage does this have in the first place? Like, this one was boring as fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not a review, girl. Let me start back. This one was interesting. <laughs> After their success in Barcelona, the Cheetah Girls are on the move. Oh, joy. Also love the use of very copyrighted free music. Thank you very much. Okay, the Cheetah Girls have always been an ally. Chanel Constant. Composition of Okay, let's get to the game. Let's get to the game. I don't care about the story. Right. Came out in 2008. Cheetah Girls Passport to Stardom. It was the plug and play version of a Nintendo DS game they released the same year. But the problem is plug and play was not as graphically advanced as the Nintendo DS. So the plug and play versions of things were... As the symbol gets close to the cheetah paw, prepare yourselves to input the correct... Okay. Okay, wait. I love how this is a movie about music, but the music in the game is all generic as fuck. 2007, I did that right. You're lying. You're lying. Now, spectacular. Thank you. Up A. Wow, power. Shut up. Uh, how many rounds is this? Is this just the game? Please tell me there's more. Yeah. The graphics are funny as fuck and the games make no fucking sense. The first game was weird as hell. Oh my god. Down. Side. B. Side. Are we done? Are we done? Thank you. I know 2000s, girl. Three rounds and we're done. S E X. Shut up. And for a game based on a musical movie, it seemed to not incorporate the music whatsoever into the game. But I also understand because licensing back in the day was weird as fuck. This was pre-streaming days, girl. Making music with Galleria. Okay, Raven Simone. The sights and sounds in Germany's largest city inspire Galleria to write some sweet. Okay, I don't care. Get the game. Let the symbol. That Galleria. Okay. Piano. I'll get you a piano, girl. Thank you. Drums. Set. Nope. Wrong one. I did not press A. Galleria game was boring. This one is boring as fuck. Okay, Raven Simone. Okay, round one complete. Do I really have to do two more of these? Oh my fucking god. Which I found so offensive because let's be honest, there would have been no Cheetah Girls without Raven yeah, Simone. So the fact that we not put any respect on her character, not even giving her a decent, satisfying game, really pissed me off. I did not press A. I didn't press A. I didn't press A. This game purposely wants you to fail. This game purposely wants you to fail. Awesome, these tight tracks will make the next Cheetah Girls performance an international rocking sensation. Can I hear them? Is this it? Girl, okay. Felt like an insult. And then Dorinda's game. Dorinda picks up some fantastic new moves with the amazing dance studios in London. Don't give a shit. Memorize, memorize, memorize. Easy. Don't even get me started on Dorinda's game. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> the funniest shit. The graphics on the dancing. Easy. Up, A. down. Oh, what the fuck was that? Girl, maybe we shouldn't have put this shit on one chip. Maybe we should have done two, girl, because we need some justice. I refuse to believe during the days of PlayStation 2, this is the height we can do for plug and play, girl. Come on. A, B, up. Okay. Jesus Christ. This animation. Get it, girl. They said. <laughs> Oop. Oh, shit. Is that the height of dancing? My bad. My bad. Oop. Oh my! <laughs> this is the console piece. It's a disco ball on type of a star because they're stars. She the girls road to stardom, girl. Very simple shit, you know, like a typical arcade little joystick bullshit. Not reinventing the wheel, except maybe reinventing what the idea of leopard print is. Cause girl, what the fuck? Now what's the last one? I'm guessing matching situation. You gotta match the colors of the dress or some shit. Why? Make outfits by matching. And then Aqua also had a game, but that. I think I failed. I think I failed. I might have failed real quick. We were matching colors first. I didn't know. I didn't know. That was. There we go. Boom. Are we not done? What do I need? Dress. Just there. Does anyone really care about Aqua? I don't even think the game developers did at this point. You know what I mean? And especially when I found out that Aqua was originally supposed to be Salon, I feel like we were robbed. What possibly could have been one of the most iconic television created girl groups ever in the history of television. I mean, they already kind of were, but I feel like they, they would have reached a even more stratosphere if Salon was part of them, girl. Okay, but anyways, what's next? Yeah! Yeah! You know we have 
had to get through. You know we had to. Had to <laughs> grandparents, can I get a yeah, yeah? You know, I had it or my grandparents had it. I remember playing this one and spinning the wheel. Ah! <laughs> this one was boring too, girl. This one was boring too. Don't get your hopes up. Things from 2005 are not going to be as fun in 2023. Let's be honest. We can't have our nostalgia overpower the truth, okay, bitch? If you hand me a bitch. PlayStation 2 game, I'm not going to have as much fun as I used to, okay, girl? Now since we came out with Persona bitch. 5, girl, nothing's going to compare. But anyways, Will and Fortune plug and play. Ooh. Uh, I got it because of this. Got it because of that. Just a wheel to spin, A and B button, and some directions. Uh, you figure out what the rest, girl. You know what the fuck. I see you only played one game and got no money. I vibe with it, I vibe with it. There it is. Never seen this show in my life. Here we go, here we go. Are you guys ready, you guys ready, you guys ready, ready? Oh, it worked! Let's do a L, a Clarence. Clarence? Clarence, Jessica. Clarence? Who else the show? Play. Definitely not a plug and play made for kids. Definitely not marketed or intended for kids. It was definitely intended for adults. The plug and plays I played when I was younger, I don't know where the fuck they went, girl. They're gone. They're in the trash somewhere. I don't know. We did not keep shit when I was growing up, which is probably a stupid idea. Because the amount of Nickelodeon orange tapes I can probably resell for like hundreds right now. We are not good business people, that's all I'm gonna say. I feel like it would've been fun if I played with other people, or at least another person, but it was just myself. So I wasn't having a fun time. I don't even know if I would have that much fun with another person, actually, dead ass. Maybe if we were drunk or high. But I wanna be monetized for this video, so that didn't happen. I picked up a holiday to New York worth $4,000. Oh, I win. That'll get you like what? A croissant? <laughs> Jay. No. My turn will now end. Is someone else playing with me? No, right? So my turn keeps on going. Shut the fuck up. B? No? Okay. The free spin token. You can use it when you lose a turn. I have it. Um, it's one person playing. Lose a turn. Well, and no matter how hard you spin this thing, it doesn't matter on the actual screen. I don't think it really reads it much. There was time to only spin it like two little pieces and it spun around the whole thing on the game. So, you know, this is 2005, girl, okay? We didn't have technology like that yet. They say they weren't showing it to us, girl, bitch. Um, no, no, okay. Oh. I lost. Well, fuck. Play. Oh, ooh, oh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I saw that this game was being resold for like 15, 25 dollars up on eBay, but I found this one on an obscure website for only 4 bucks. And um it kind of shows. Collect the cash and, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, Co oh, I didn't even press the button. Let's go, oh, oh no. Wow, look at my bag, gotta get that bag. This is so bad. <laughs> did you see? The color's going back and forth. <laughs> this one didn't survive, girl. This one did not survive, did I just die? I literally don't know what's going on. Literally can't see. It definitely shows. Released in 2004, I have never played something more glitchy in my entire life. But the funny part is, I expected all of of these used plug and plays to operate like this one. But none of them did. This is the only one. And it was also the cheapest one I bought. So now I understand why. Jump. Okay. 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 Jump. Okay. Jump. Okay. No. Jump. Okay. Calm down. Out of my way. Out of my way. Peasant. Found it. Let's go. Bye. I'm going to have a seizure. Extremely hard to control. Barely move. The button on top wasn't even used once. Like when you think of playing a reused plug and play from 2004, this is exactly what you're gonna fucking get. But I will say, these plug and play designs that Jack Specific was coming out with were top fucking notch. Let's be honest. Name another group that was doing it like this. Everybody else was trying to look like the fucking Nintendo and all that shit. Jack Specific decided they need to look like their own bullshit. Like girl, what the fuck? The game is... What? Fine feet at the hell, L. R. Faggots, I see that. It was a typical Spider-Man arcade game just on your TV screen, basically, but on my computer and also extremely fucking glitchy. What are we doing? I can't see anybody. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh. Don't shoot the white people. Okay, learning. Oh. Oh. Girl, that's a high score. What? What? Leave me alone. Stop. 
the controller reset. Escape from the suit. Oh. Oh. Play it. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Who? <laughs> I hope I'm not supposed to have anything standing on top of this, because, girl, I don't know. The color. Phenomenal. The graphic. Better than expected. Even Nickelodeon logo. That's not even that long ago, girl. This is probably the newest one I've gotten. Where did whoever I bought this from leave off? One percent. Okay. Understandable. These games said sharing is not allowed. Okay, Xbox. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Hero Portal, Plug and Play, this situation, I don't fucking know what it was. Basically, this was Jack Specific next generation of plug and play games. Also, their last generation of plug and play games. Also, their way of making plug and play games a very huge cash grab by forcing parents to buy the plug and play and then also buy a series of action figures to place upon the portal to then play them. Incorrect figure on the portal. Please remove it to continue. What? No, you won't be able to tell. But here's the scam. The portal doesn't scan the figurine. It does not fully know what figurine is on top of it. Not based on some weird chip scanning technology. No, 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 baby. It's based on weight. And the fact that someone resold me this system without an action figure is basically criminal. But also led to a very, very funny discovery. Put my full ass water bottle on it. There we go. <laughs> This is Raph right now. This is Raphael. All it took, girl. I love 2000s technology. Apparently, Raphael is as heavy as my water bottle. I don't know. Literally just did this. And girl, I was playing Raphael. I don't know what to tell you. And it's also the only plug and play I bought that actually came with a separate controller, which I thought was indeed next generation, okay? You know, they're actually thinking things through. Oh man, there's nothing better than a pizza feet. I don't, I don't care. Here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm looking forward to this. Oh. Oop. Oop. Let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. I'm supposed to fight you? Okay. No. Whee! So we're just fighting the same person over and over again. Just outfit changes. All of this money you gotta spend just to have a gameplay be a basic arcade game you can find in any fucking Dave & Buster's. Like the game advertises like 18 different levels of like four different missions per level or some shit. But in order to do the other missions within the level, you need the other figures or the other turtles to walk into certain rooms. Need for this mission. How do we change? How do I change? How do you know? Girl, I'm playing a water bottle. <laughs> So basically, if you bought this system and only one figurine, you weren't going to do shit. Hey, can I just continue? Are gonna dodge these? Yes, I would like to come. Oops. Please, yeah! I don't think I was supposed to do that, and I don't know why I went through the walls. I won! Are we done? Okay. I hated it. And on retail, it's being sold for like 60 bucks, but I got it for 12, so you're welcome. Ooh, y'all ready? The myth, the legend, dream, I love you. Dream life. Girl, leave. Live in the dream life. Or whatever the fuck the commercial went. Ooh, you can hang out at school. Find new friends and get a boyfriend or some shit. You know, girlies. This was actually the one that led to my rediscovery of the plug and play system. When I tell you that this commercial played everywhere, they paid hella marketing money to get us to try to buy this game. Basically, it was Sims for people that were too young to play Sims. It's a day-by-day -day situation where you wake up, go to school, talk to some people, hang out with them maybe, and then go shopping for some clothes. Oh, so, ooh. What's your life? It's a dream life. With the remote control that has no batteries in it. I'm just realizing right now. Oh my God. Dream yeah, that's from the 2000s right there. You see that? You see that grossness? Okay. Are y'all ready, girls? Ah. Let's try to get a boyfriend. Get yourself and design your room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Skin color. You can be offensive or other shades. Not outgoing, girl. She doesn't like to talk to people. Choose my room. Oh my gosh, this game has everything! Day one. This is a daily thing. It's gonna take me five years, this isn't it? Go to town on oh, school. I'm going to school. Watch your grades. If you get good grades, your parents will let you buy cool stuff. Wow, I remember those days. Like a two TV. Oh, TV. Math was a clinch, as usual today. Hi, Tyler. Hey. Hey, Tyler. Hey. It was boring as fuck. The entire thing is just this remote, and then you press the things you want to do, the places you want to go, or the conversation pieces you want to say, A, B, C, and then they would do that, and then suddenly your stats would grow. There wasn't a single mini game that popped up. It was basically like a glorified pick-your-own-adventure game, except you were just a teenage high school student, or middle school student, talking to a black man named Tyler. I mean, like, hey, representation, but at the same Sometimes I think they made him black because I was black. 
So I felt a little bit segregated, not gonna lie. I don't think we met before. <laughs> nice to meet you. What's up, girl? Shut up. First of all, don't you assume? Do you see the girl with the beads? What's your favorite class? A bunch of us are going for a bike ride. Who's a bunch, girl? You got no friends. Who's the girl with the beads? Yeah, I guess. Up, oh, he liked that. They were in her hair. Oh, really? My friends when I fashion and lifestyle are still low. Who needs a lifestyle when you have friends? Looking for a job. Hell yeah, let's get money. $10 a day. That is disgusting, but sure. $10 a day, girl? You want me to walk dogs all day for just 10 fucking dollars? What are we teaching kids? Back in my day, I just had to mow a few lawns and I pay my way through college. Was it $10 a day, girl? Choose this to create your best friend and then visit her in her room. Why does that have to be a woman? Hello, woke mob? Yeah, we got one. <laughs> Come and pick. Boom. She's a Fanta girl. Why not Fanta? Don't you want to? Oh, we got Tyler's here. Hey, Tyler. Hey. It's nighttime, but it still looks dead. Not cold. And Rachel. Played for a long fucking time. I see. Okay. Love that, but I'm overriding your shit. Yeah. Now it's time for come. Water the plant. I earned $20 from watering a plant, but I'm getting $10 a day to walk fucking dogs. Girl, what is it? What? What? Is, what are we teaching kids? They they really want you to mow some lawns. Ball balls in eighteen days. Are you with me? You wanna go together? Oh my god! Let's do it. We're gonna play this for eighteen days and see him at a ball, girl. No, girl, no. I have two hundred and eighty dollars since when? Girl, you're rich. <laughs> Theater, yeah, and dance. Thank you. Yeah, set up a new activity. Thank you. Thank you. Go to bed. And I'm saving and exiting because I'm tired. This is boring as fuck. This was the most expensive thing I bought in resale. I paid eighty dollars for this shit. I'm really hoping this video gets my money back. That's all I'm gonna say. I really hope I make my money back from this fucking video. Dream life. The Sims for people that could not understand Sim. How Or couldn't afford it, but at the same time, this game was like 50 fucking dollars, girl. Hell yeah, motherfucker! Now this one's kind of special. And yes, if you haven't realized, I've been filming all of this on separate days, okay? As they come, so do I. And so did your mom last night. What? I'm sorry. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, it was your dad. Jesus. And then he cried afterwards, but I don't know why. Out of all the plug and plays I found, only three of them were packaged. I'm showing you this now because by the time I'm playing it, I probably ripped this box to shreds. So. These are the packages. And since it's packaged and unopened, I'm fully expecting it to work. But at the same time, I probably should not be having any single expectations on these at all, bitch. Not, the 2000s are untrustworthy. Plug directly into your TV. No game console required, even though this technically is one, girl. There's apparently five. Five whole ass games on this one, so this one might take a second. I love how they advertise additional things for you to buy on the boxes of things you just bought. Capitalism, girl, capitalism. They give you a toy with five games on, then advertise on the toy that you can get even more games. As in, they created more games and then decided to separate them into a second chip. I don't know how powerful these shits were in the 2000s, but girl, I feel like this is, this is the lie. I also love the drawing, especially the woman. She kind of looks like Spice a little bit in this drawing. Am I lying? Am I lying? Am I lying? Am I lying? I, I even look like Spice, okay? I'll even say it. There's nothing wrong with looking like Spice, okay? Mrs. Fantastic. What's her name? What's her name? Well, girl, I do not pay attention to this franchise. <laughs> Probably at least one I'm excited for. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, girl. Not gonna lie, I know nothing about a Fantastic Four. Saw one movie, one and girl, I don't remember it. <laughs> Got the Thing controller that wasn't my choice. It was packaged. And so in my head, I thought, oh, it's still in its package. It's never been touched before. But looking at the scrape, and looking how there is a continue option on the screen. Girl, this has been touched quite a few times. They're lying to me. Scraped all up in that hole. Look at that. Should I choose the thing? I'ma choose the thing. A little bit, blah, 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 Okay, let's just go into it. Phase one arena, the... Girl, the quality is so fucked. I don't know what it says half the time. Okay, get out of my way. Get away, get away. Come here, come here, come here. Don't run away, don't run away. Bye, wing. I'm into this one. This was probably my favorite one so far, okay? I don't know why I was talking shit. Just because I don't watch the fucking Incre Incredibles? Fantastic Four, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. I'm not gonna lie, girl. I'm gonna say I was pretty impressed with this one, but also completely bored. It's not like I had high expectations for these. I just... 
I don't know what I expected actually, Dead Out. This one surprisingly has like the most gameplay out of all of the plug and plays I bought. All four characters in the Fantastic Four had their own storylines, basically. Oh, each character has their own. Oh, okay. Let's see Miss Fantastic. Or whatever her fucking name is. Girl, I don't know. I'm thinking Incredible. They weren't like that different from each other. Like each level was basically designed around each person's power. And each person's powers were either shoot something or you punch. I don't wait, I don't wait, I don't wait, I don't wait. Thank you. Water. What the fuck is this? What is this starfish that she's doing right now? Hello? 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 Get up. Jesus. Shit. Shit. Girl, shit. Girl. Don't you dip. Buy wig. Don't run away. Girl, 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 girl. Once again, typical arcade game you will see in a Dave and Buster's, but at your house, you know, and for like $50. How many people are on this team? There's four. So there's four games, basically, but they're all the same thing. Do we continue or do we get it? Are we bored? I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? Mr. Fantastic, we don't need him. He's boring, okay? He just stretches, like, okay. Wow, your power is yoga. That's so cool. Come on, guys. Bye. Oop, oop. Wrong button. Oop, okay. What am I pressing? What kind of casino is this by way treat me nice talk to me nice talk to me nice we are out Okay, now I'm bored. And also yet another cash grab. This is the one where they released the idea of a game key. A second chip in the form of a cartridge that you can enter into the back of the system and play even more games. Girl, just buy a Nintendo at this point. Like, I see the vision, I understand. Once the early 2000s came in and the plug and play was popular, Jack Specific tried to take it into a direction that no one else was taking it into. But at the same time, game consoles existed. So the more you made it like a game console, the more it just made sense just to buy a fucking game console. The PS2 was a thing, and a Game Boy, girl. But let's go to fifth grade now, shall we? Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grade? Hey, and the answer will be yes. You're welcome! This is what a typical plug and play packaging look like. Full plastic, unbreakable, unrippable, unstealable, basically, girl. They said no. Not these Chinese chips. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? More better than a piece of paper? Whatever the fuck the words were. I 100% bet you they're not even gonna use the theme song because, girl, licensing music was like not a thing in video games until like 2012. I swear to God. They had a whole 1,000 questions for you to answer. If a game today only had 1,000 questions, those games. Game critics on YouTube with a ribbon to shred. Test your knowledge while you strive to win the million dollar top prize. This is a resale. I had to search online for this shit. Any person that bought it and collected it was like, girl, I'm not opening this. I don't want to play this shit. So I bought it from them for like $7, girl. It was really cheap. Pick a fifth grader to help you. Don't we all do that on a normal basis? I actually know a couple people that used to be the fifth graders on this show. And none of them seem traumatized. So I guess they did something right. Still weird copyright free music. Cause girl, I know for a fact this show had their own theme song, but they said we can't do that. Girl, we can't do that's money. Look at it. Girl, it's like a flip phone. Oh my god. Hello. Yes, I'm smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for asking. Bye. <laughs> This is probably the one I'm going to specifically keep. I can totally see myself re-pulling this one out on a random day when I'm like drunk or tipsy with a friend or some shit, answering a bunch of science and math questions that we don't remember. Correction, that I remembered because girl, 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 I'm smart. I'm sm I swear I'm smart. I mean, the children did look like gremlins and the sound bites were literally just recorded sound bites from the television show. And it sounded like it was ripped straight from it. And I think it was. Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grade? Yeah, I love recorded live show. That sounded like that was recorded on a VHS tape, then they plug that into their computer system and use whatever the fuck they have. All right, over here is my class. What is the irregular verb in the following sentence? That's irregular, right? I don't know, girl. That is not the right answer. Oh. Okay, so maybe the answer wasn't yes. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Actually, I lied to you all. Well, you know, it was pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I'm definitely not lying. I didn't struggle at all. Shut the fuck up. That is not the right answer. What? I am not smarter than a fifth grade. Okay, shut the fuck up. I'm a try. I'm a try again. Huh? Oh. Yeah, that's fucking right. You're welcome. Okay, but High School Musical. The most special one in our collection. High School Musical all together now. Together, together.
Friday. Are the Wildcats ready for their summer job the Lava Springs Country Club? Okay, so this is for second game. They could probably use some help as they adjust to working with Sharpay. Lend a hand where you can to keep the gang dancing and singing through their summer with no copyrighted music. I promise you, I, pr I swear, I promise you. Four games all look crazy, but hey, you get to play with Ryan, so you know, that's representation right there. It was just confirmed that that man was gay. But we all knew. We all knew. And we all related, girl. We all related, but we didn't know why. Typical packaging from a Jack Specific plug and play game. Not all plug and play games are Jack Specific, by the way. It's the ones that you can still find today. This is the only product I bought directly from Jack Specific. Through Amazon, though. Through Amazon, though, okay? So Jack Specific and Jeff Bezos, okay? I'm paying for his next yacht. Personally, myself, apparently. Am I sorry about it? Yes. But we've all watched Mr. Robot now at this point, right? So somebody needs to... Figure out how to do that. A whole ass $50, which apparently I found out was around the average these were actually selling by in total. Jack Specific put a whole $50 on these motherfucking bitches. And in the early 2000s, let's see if it's worth it. It's there. I hear it. Definitely the second movie, because it's that like, it's time for celebration. Who swim in the pool? Girl, the girl, the girl, whatever the fuck. But here we go, girl. Fresh, fresh out the package. No one's such this yet. Of course they shouldn't have. Got some Amazon for fifty dollars, bitch. If they did, I would have screamed. Here we are, guys. Lava Springs, home of our new summer. Right into it. Jobs. Girl, can you not fit that in one box? Look at this one was weird. This one was very fucking weird. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. But look at them all up on this shit. Look at them being all happy and young and shit. None of them look like this at all anymore. Okay, girl. This man in particular looks like a steroid out motherfucking Goliath. Do I miss his twink days? Yes. Do I want them back? No. Do I want him to dominate me on top of a mountain while drinking a pint glass of goat's milk? How the fuck did you get in my dreams, girl? How did you know that? Oh, open world, girl? You get a map? What is this? GTA, girl? Okay. Sharpay Fulton needs Troy, Chad, and Zeke for a staff meeting. I'll go find Troy. The others can walk. Okay. Not even counting down. Wait, hold on. I'm timed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Try again. That's the one. Now use the joystick to... This game is made people three and up. So they're going to write things for three... Who Who is three years old playing a high school musical game? Did you understand what you were watching? Try to beat Troy's college fun goal before the end of the round. I gotta make him earn all his money for college? All $48 for college? That's like so many lawns to mow. What y'all want? Y'all wanna eat? You can sit. Go sit. There's more tables. If y'all want to, there's four. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Y'all eating one plate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Have a nice day. First, they did remove the U. Oh, we got a censorship now? Oh, hell no, hell no. Not in my high school musical, not in my Disney. I miss the old Disney with all the racism and cum. You should try and find Chad and check it out. I will find Chad. I'm gonna find Chad. I'm gonna find. Let me shut up. It did use some of the music from the movie, but it was all like an 8-bit version, so it took me a second to kind of realize it. Press cr this is I Don't Dance, isn't it? They made him say sis. And we were supposed to pretend like we didn't know for years. I Don't Dance. Okay. Grand slam, keep it going. Shut the fuck up. Boop. Boop. Okay, wow. Ooh, okay, get down. This is an improvement from. <laughs> I don't know how much patience I have left of this game. We serve, we dance, and now we're gonna cook. Games were. Easy as fuck. This is also the one that was made for like the youngest audience. All the other ones are like five and up, eight and this up. This one was three and up for some fucking reason. The whole game, you're like playing as Sharpay, visiting all the boys specifically during their job. The girls are like barely mentioned. They're like barely in it. All the rest of it is literally just like Sharpay in a golf cart. Like they didn't even give Gabriella her own mini game, but they gave Zeke one. You remember Zeke? Boop, 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 How can a man not like pasta? Where is Gabriella? Where are the women
Girl, not me ready to cancel. Those, Those are all the mini games. That's it. Those are the only games. And they're all with men. And one of them is with Sharpay. I mean, Sharpay is the only main female character confirmed. Let's be honest. Okay, Gabriella is just sprinkle. She's just a fucking sprinkle. Sharpay is the full ass Sunday. There would not be a high school musical without her. She was trying to hold down her fort. And these popular kids came storming in and telling her what to do, girl. Shut the fuck up. That's what I say. This one had a lot of fucking writing, though. A lot of writing, a lot of fucking reading. I don't understand what three year old is going to read like that, but like, go off, queen. The overall, weird experience. All of them are weird, okay? All of them are weird. I'm done. Come is officially Kane. Come has Kane. Come has. Okay, let me start. From Jack specific. <laughs> And that is my plug and play experience. There you go. I did that for you. I bought these so you didn't have to. I went down this lane for all of us curious asses who lived through the early 2000s, saw these constantly, and always wondering, hmm, I wonder how it is really playing it. But now you know. In the early 2000s, maybe it was the height of fucking luxury. But in 2023, girl. <laughs> It was a weird fever trip. My favorite one was probably Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? But well, that's because I love myself some trivia. Love me a good standardized test moment. But the other ones were just like either weird arcade games or weird fever dreams. But that basically makes sense. That's where the NES came from. It was an idea that came from the idea of the NES system. The NES system was literally just bringing Nintendo's arcade games into people's houses. So that's what the plug and play did. So you were literally just playing arcade games in your house. For people that have never heard of these things but now are really interested and want to play one themselves, just search plug and play on eBay and there'll be a bunch that pop up. You need a television with these type of jacks or just find a converter and go ham, girl, go ham. Find out if you're smarter than a fifth grader. Spin that wheel. Fight those villains. Or get a boyfriend that's a black man named Tyler. What did we learn today, kid? We learned that Mac likes to spend his money on the most stupid bullshit that makes no sense whatsoever. But what is new? Shout out to at Nicola Ayum, sir, and at... Ooh, for retweeting my last tweet on Twitter. I'm just going to call it fucking Twitter from now on. I'm not going to say X. I don't give a shit. Comment down below. Did you have any plug and play games growing up? What were the ones you played? Was it Dora or SpongeBob? Because a lot of y'all played Dora and fucking SpongeBob. I'm sorry I couldn't find them. Okay, I wasn't going to pay $100 to play a fucking SpongeBob arcade game, bitch. Wasn't SpongeBob like in his 30s? Isn't SpongeBob like in his 30s? How old was SpongeBob? Did we ever decide that? But anyways, I'm gonna go find out how I can resell these, I guess. My name is Maggie. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. Oh!